So, my name is um, Dr. Alauddin Huyan, and um, I am the uh, principal you know, research scientist um, at um, iHealthScreen, the company I founded. Um, and um, I have been uh, doing image processing, image analysis, prediction of uh, retinal and systemic diseases. So, um, this work actually I have been doing um, from, let's say, last um, 13 plus years. and. Um, my current research focuses on um, retinal blood vessel analysis, which will be you know, like finding um, or giving the new insights for Alzheimer's disease and um, stroke and cardiovascular heart disease. And uh, also um, my other projects are um, uh, uh, diabetic retinopathy screening and um, uh, macular degeneration screening, so mostly on automation and um, which will be based on computer vision, image analysis, and um, artificial intelligence. Um. At Arbo was um, prediction of um, um, late macular degeneration. So the whole idea is if someone is going to be um, uh, getting the incident of late AMD in near future. So what we have done here is um, we are um, looking at um, longitudinal image set uh, along with uh, other sociodemographic parameters um, and other risk factors for late uh, age-related macular degeneration. And um, we look back um, previous two visits and um, from the visit which uh, had the incident of late AMD. And uh, we analyzed the images, uh, we quantified the images and got a probability score. And we combined these um, sociodemographic parameters and um, also um, the risk factor, the traditional risk factors. And uh, uh, we developed the model uh, based on neural network and uh, predicting um, the, if the individual will be developing late AMD in two years time period. So um, with this step actually we work in um, two phases. The first phase is uh, um, if uh, someone has the symptom of uh, early or intermediate uh, AMD. So that's what we do, screening. And um, this work we have presented at uh, Macular Society meeting. So at Arvo, we did the second phase, which will be used by the ophthalmologist directly. So let's say from the remote rural clinics, we pick the individual, that this individual is suspect for early or intermediate stage of AMD. Just uh, for the record, like if someone has AMD, we don't need to screen this person. So our focus is looking at the early stage and uh, screen them and pick them and then send them to the ophthalmologist and the ophthalmologist will be then using our you know, like, uh, prediction tool um, for doing that, you know, like uh, aggressive treatment or whatever is necessary. So our focus is uh, use this in the clinic. There is a study um, which showed that, edit study, which showed that um, we can really um, prevent um, or defer the incident of late AMD up to 10 years by taking precaution, dietary exercise, vitamin supplements, you know. So our focus is uh, screen these individuals who are, who are at risk, uh, who has early stage or intermediate stage. So usually uh, the phases are you have early stage where some drusens or some of these, you know, like similar pathologies there. And then you have um, soft drusen, a number of soft drusens. So there's a protocol there which you can measure for this um, intermediate stage of AMD. And then you will be having this late AMD. The problem is if you have, if someone is early or intermediate stage, you won't um, um, recognize. You own to this person doesn't know that this 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 person is actually heading for the late AMD. And then when the symptom starts, it's already late. So we want to um, use our tool, the software tool, um, in the primary care physicians, in the local clinics, you know, small hospitals, you know, like where there is not an easy access to the ophthalmologist. Um, we would like to um, get this done um, 
even with the optometrist also. So they are currently looking at this one. Now, if they have this screening tool, they will be having some uh, numbers, some measurements, quantifications to really um, confidently refer them to the ophthalmologist. Um, in the second phase, which we presented um, yesterday, is, um, well, this person is now in the intermediate stage. Is this person going to be, you know, like develop the late AMD? And when will be the time, you know, like this sort of, you know, like um, um, perception the ophthalmolog ophthalmologist will be having, you know, like so currently they are doing this qualitatively, make some assumptions, you know, like based on their experience, they start the treatment, you know, how aggressive the treatment will be. And um, our focus is giving them an additional tool. So this is the regular fundus imaging. So our, our focus is to use um, cell phone based camera. There are some recent studies which showed that the cell phone based camera are almost you know, like uh, um, equal with the other standard retinal imaging cameras. So we'll be doing that color fundus imaging, which will be looking at the surface, you know, and which is sufficient for this early and intermediate stage. You know. Um, and then in the next phase, let's say we want to do the thorough, thorough diagnosis. That time um, we want to use our like similar, you know, like um, imaging, but another level of analysis in the image. And then based on this, um, we are also planning to use OCT to look at the, you know, like um, RP layers and then how this, you know, like. Um, uh, um, Drusens and the GAs are actually like you know uh, forming there and um, giving some quantification you know like tool uh, to the ophthalmologist. So we have shown that um, based on the color fundus we can really screen them um, above 90% accuracy you know like early and intermediate stage of MD which is pretty good and um, for our prediction we are having almost 85% accuracy. Um, so which is like you know uh, pretty high and we are planning to improve it you know like doing some further analysis yeah right right now in the primary care physician what they do is um if someone has let's say um a certain level of um, blood sugar you know that patient is uh, usually sent to the optometrist or ophthalmologist, you know, to get their eye exam done, you know, like it's regular yearly procedure. So in our case, we are introducing a new tool, new device here. So we are giving them a very small um, portable, you know, like either cell phone or a regular portable camera. And this can be done by the um, physician's assistant or nurse. And in between, like what they will be having is they will be open the software and then they will be having a score. Okay, so these are the, so these are the probability the, of this person is uh, early or intermediate stage of AMD and we also want to add other like diabetic retinopathy and other parameters, you know. So these will be um, additionally added um, in the future. So let's say we are, this, um, the PCPs will be having this score, that means they know that if, if someone has this score or above this score, this person should be sending to um, should be sent to the uh, ophthalmologist. We have developed the technology now, and uh, we need to go to FDA for the approval. And we know that um, one of the similar you know like um, tool for screening diabetic retinopathy is recently last month um, it was approved. So we are pretty confident that uh, we'll be having this FDA approval soon and then we'll be reaching out um, to the primary care physicians and optometrists you know, for using this tool uh, for macular degeneration screening and then in the second stage um, with the ophthalmologist with the prediction. Yes, so our company um, is uh, planning to hire a team. Uh, is, it could be the distributor is our own team. Um, to reach out uh, in the primary care um, optometrist. Uh, so our, our main focus is now um, on telling the world that we are doing this and um, the main reason we are presenting here is uh, to tell the community you know, like that we are doing this, you know, like encouraging others also doing this, you know. It's major benefit for the world, right? And um, 
The second step is, of course, we have our website. We are already, you know, like talking um, about this technology in our website, and um, yes, um, they can directly reach out to us, like if anyone is interested. So. Um, Last week, I attended that um, uh, SCP conference um, in the primary care physicians conference. And the great thing is um, some of the PCPs now, they are already adopting this uh, retinal camera because they know that it's important, you know, like uh, you can look at many different things. You can look at diabetic retinopathy, uh, macular degeneration, hypertensive retinopathy, like systemic diseases. So they are pretty enthusiastic about our screening tool also. Most of the ophthalmologists and optometrists, they have these um, uh, cameras. So now we have to test with the different types of cameras and we are in the process of now clinical trial. So um, we will be working with um, New York Eye Infirmary on this um, uh, screening and prediction. So My whole focus, his whole heart is like following the, to helping people, you know, like uh, I wanted to make impact and um, impact it largely and then helping, you know, like um, as many as possible, you know, like around the world. Yes, thank you once again for having me here.